Suppose s is a real number such that sin s equals negative 3 fifth. If cosine s is greater than 0, find cosine s and tangent s. Okay, so to solve this problem, we're gonna need again the unit circle. Okay, so we are given sin s equals negative 3 fifth. Remember, sin s equals the y coordinate. And so therefore, so let's write that sine s equals negative 3 fifth, but we know that the sine of s equals to the y coordinate, therefore y equals negative 3 fifth. Okay? So y is negative 3 fifth. So that's going to be here. So. Let's just approximate that. So this is 3 fifth. Yeah, approximately 3 fifth. And that's going to give us this point right here or that point right there. So we have two possible points for S. Okay? But we don't know which point it is. Okay? And so therefore, we're going to need the second information, which is cosine s is greater than 0. Let's write that. Cosine s is greater than 0. Remember, cosine s is equal to the x-coordinate. And so, therefore, cosine s, which is the x-coordinate, has to be greater than 0. So which of these points has x greater than 0? It's this point right here, because this one has a negative x-coordinate. It's, it's here. This one's there. So therefore, we know that this is our point. We can then draw our angle here. So this is our point. Again, how do we know? We use the second information, which is cosine s is greater than 0, x is greater than 0, and so we chose that point. Okay. And then again, we can construct a right triangle out of that. Okay, so this is a right triangle right here. We know that this is 1. Um, and y is negative 3 fifth. So this is negative 3 fifth. Sorry. So that's negative 3 fifth right there. So all we need to do is find the x coordinate. Okay. To find the x-coordinate, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So that's r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Okay, r squared, so that's 1 squared. x squared, that's the unknown value. y is negative 3 fifth squared. So that gives us 1 equals x squared plus this is 9 over 25 okay we're gonna subtract 9 over 25 both sides that's 1 minus 9 over 25 equals x squared okay so then therefore that gives us x squared equals 1 minus 9 over 25 that's 16 over 25 take the square root of both sides x equals positive negative square root of 16 over 25 that gives us positive negative square root of 16 is 4 um, square root of 25 is 5 so we got our x value so it's either positive or negative 4 fifth but we are in the positive x axis therefore we're gonna choose the positive value so that's 4 fifth let's change that to 4 fifth okay and we are almost done. All we need to do is plug in the values. We know that cosine of s equals the x coordinate. The x coordinate is 4 fifth, so that's gonna be 4 fifth. For tangent s, tangent s is y over x. Y is negative 3 fifth 
x is 4 fifth so the fives cancel out that will give us negative 3 fourth and that's it so that's all we needed to do